Of all the TV home tours I've done, this one held one of the biggest surprises. Discovering the incredible views of this home that were never shown to us on TV. Hi, I'm Marina Coates. Welcome to Behind the Scenes, where we get up close and personal with all your favorite TV and movie homes. Today, you're going to see Major Nelson's home from I Dream of Jeannie, and like you've never seen it before. Let's get started. Before we venture inside, let's first look at an overhead view of the main floor to get our bearings. To the left of the entryway is a large living room and dining room area which opens out to the backyard. Off to the right is the kitchen. And on this end of the home is Major Nelson's bedroom and bathroom. By the way, there would be room for a half bath here, although one was never shown to us on the show. The door to it could be next to the washer and dryer in the kitchen. The home changed so much over the course of the series that I had to choose just one season and then stick with it. I eventually settled on season three because this is the way most of us probably remember the home since it stayed this way for the longest time. By the way, I'll be posting a tour of the remodeled version from season five too because it's just too awesome to leave out. The home went through several transformations. Let's start in the living room, dining room area. In season one, this is the arrangement we are initially shown with the fireplace here and the bar over here. But later on, the bar moves to this side and the fireplace shifts to this wall. And then the bar finds its final resting place here. The furniture changed a great deal too. That memorable blue egg chair didn't show up until season three. Before we take the tour, here are some things you might want to make note of. The artwork in the home, such beautiful paintings marked by a predominance of red. Notice all of the sculptural pieces too. The props chosen here help support some of the things we learn about Tony throughout the series. For instance, and not surprising, he is a world traveler and a military history buff. There was only one bedroom in the home, Tony's. So when guests stayed over, such as his mother in this episode, they slept on the couch. And I just wanted to show this fun screen grab from the show. Because of the angle, they needed to show a ceiling, and it looks as though they just quickly added a piece of something that looks like poster board to finish it off. Sometimes a TV would appear when needed for a scene. Most of the time, though, it wasn't there. Here are some things that took place in the living room. The living room getting destroyed by a bumbling genie, played by Bob Denver, he even manages to turn the fireplace upside down. Jeannie's evil sister wreaks havoc on their lives and their home. Boyce and Hart make an appearance as part of a rock band that is formed involuntarily through magic. And Jeannie transforms the living room and entryway into a campground, complete with a bubbling brook trickling down the stairs. This is the view we saw most frequently on the show. The majority of the scenes took place about here and looking in this direction. We only rarely got views like this, showing the fireplace wall. The same is true in the dining room. We were mostly shown this view, rarely this one. So it was quite a wonderful surprise when I finally finished the model and had the opportunity to walk around inside and take in these incredible views. A big shout out to the set designer, Ross Bella. Well done. I wish they would have shown more of these views to show off your work on the series.
Now let's step inside the kitchen. From this screen grab of the backyard, we learn that there is a door that leads into the kitchen from the patio. It was never shown to us on the interior. The most we ever saw along this wall was to the end of the kitchen cabinets. But this information places the door in the kitchen here, right after those cabinets. There was a window shown on this wall above the kitchen table from time to time, but it wasn't always there. I chose to include it. Some changes occurred in the kitchen, too. This is the first kitchen we're shown in the series, but soon after it becomes this kitchen, with the fridge next to the stove. After that, the kitchen changes to this familiar arrangement with the refrigerator shifting to this wall. It remained this way throughout the rest of the series, with only the color of the appliances changing. Some things that took place in the kitchen. Jeannie trying to do housework without her powers. Sneaking in spices to ruin the meal Tony's date is preparing. Some love-hate potions getting mixed up, causing Jeannie to turn on her master. And blinking in a telephone booth so she can listen in privately. Now let's take a stroll around the kitchen. At the end, I'll take you on a tour of the whole main floor, all in one swoop, including the backyard. Now we'll head over to the bedroom. Some changes that occurred here. In season three, the entrance into the bedroom changed from two louvered doors to one. Here are some of the different things we find on the walls just outside of the bedroom. And while we're here, there are a couple changes that took place at the bottom of the stairwell too. Once inside the bedroom, there were other changes too. This corner began as a closet and later changed to a secretary desk. We were given brief glimpses of a taller closet here in the background. This is the fourth wall that we never got to see on the show. However, because of the exterior shots, I was able to determine the size of the windows and their placement. There were some mid-century modern things going on in here including the bedding with very flat box edge pillows, as well as the open shelving behind the bed, reminiscent of the sets in the living room. Again, we find props that tell us more about Tony, including many of the trophies he's earned over the years sitting prominently on his shelves. We were shown the bathroom in Major Nelson's room, so the layout was easy to figure out. We know there was a wall here outside the bathroom door, so that would place the room here. Some things that took place in these rooms. Major Healy sneaking in through the window hoping to avoid Jeannie's wicked sister, but to no avail. Jeannie accidentally popping the wrong astronaut from the space shuttle into Tony's room. Jeannie using her powers to help Major Nelson dress for a mod party. And a sheep roaming into the shower. Now let's tour the master bedroom and bathroom.
Now we'll take a walk through the entire main floor, including the backyard. In the next episode, in part two, I'll take us upstairs. We'll also tour the remodel from season five with the see-through fireplace. And of course, Jeannie's bottle. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any future TV and movie home tours. But as for today, that's a wrap. See you next time on Behind the Scenes.